Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be applying pitch correction to a vocal. Now today we have a male vocal and it is off a Muse cover that I've extracted just the audio which we're going to apply the pitch correction to. We are going to show how we can find the key to best apply the pitch correction. First thing to do is this is a vocal here. Let's have a quick listen to it. I think I'm drowning asphyxiated i want to break the spell that you created you're something beautiful a contradiction I so it's a little bit pitchy in places and we're just going to clean it up this is the great thing about pitch correction is um even if like you have a great vocalist um everyone's going to sing a tiny bit out of tune that's just part and parcel with being human uh, so we're going to fix some little details. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to get our pitch correction, which is located in pitch. And it'll come in mono and it will look like this. Uh, this is Again, this is logic. If you're watching this video and you don't have a logic, I'm sure um, you will have your own version. Uh, another version of pitch correction I have is the Waves Real Time which looks like this, which some of you will have. This is something we're going to use in a different video. But today we are just talking about Logic's version of pitch correction. So this is what it looks like. Um, now we've got to ask, how does the pitch correction work? So what you have to do is you have to set the key of the song. So the autotune knows which notes to cut out the vocal and to transpose to. So how can we find that? That is right here. So there's two options. We can either take notes out if we know that they're not in the key and they're bum notes in the vocal or we can set the scale now the first thing i do if you don't know anything about music theory and i tend this i tend to find this works for me is i will set it first to a major scale and what we'll do is we'll go to the response time so this is how fast the autotune kicks in so if you have a slow um response time the autotune is gonna again it's gonna take long to work so you'll barely notice the autotune actually working and fast is you've got that t-pain effect going on so what we're gonna do? I think I'm drowning, asphyxiated. I wanna As you can hear, that sounded a bit dodgy, and it sounded a bit like it was uh, pitchy, and that's because it's not the right key. So if you don't know your scales, you don't know the key of the song. What you can do is just start going through and waiting till you hear it correcting in the right places. I nope. wanna break the spell that you created. You're something beautiful. A contradiction. Nope. I want to play the game. I want the friction. You Oops. will be the death of me. Yeah, you will be the death of me. Bury it. I won't let you bury it. I won't let you smother it. Okay. I won't let you murder it. So what I did there is it, it it can take a little bit of time. You've got to be patient with it. I went through and it didn't sound right, but I heard there was a lot of notes that the E major scale got spot on. It's not to say that the, the key of the song is an E major, but what I did then was I started looking at where the notes were landing and I could notice that C was a note that was very prominent. So I was like, okay, so I clicked C and I brought that into the scale. And also I think it was either it was either the D sharp or the E I clicked as well. And just adding them two notes, we then got I think I'm drowning what we wanted. I want to break the spell that you created. I'm also going to put A sharp and take out A, see if that helps. You're something beautiful, a contradiction. I want to play the game, I want the friction. You okay. will be the death of me. There you go. So again, I just add that in. And they go, you gotta, you got to listen, like know when the song's pitchy and when it's not. But So by doing that, we have um we have got it sounding very t pain but it sounds like it's going to work so now what we're going to do is we are going to start turning the response time down till you know that your the pitch correction is working but it's subtle and you can't hear that sort of digital um autotuneness asphyxiated i want to break the spell that you created you're something beautiful a contradiction i want to play the game i want the friction you will be 
the death of me yeah you will be the death of me and there you go so yeah guys that is how you can use pitch correction in logic and how to clean up a vocal in terms of the pitching uh, if you have any more questions regarding the pitch correction or anything you like to see me do uh comment below because i'm always looking for more video content uh other than that i hope you enjoyed the video like and subscribe to see more content like that it will also make simba uh, very happy if you subscribe as well so yeah guys thank you for watching to the end and i'll see you in the next video